Hi there, welcome to Nepi Invest. Over the past few weeks, I have subtly, or not so subtly, changed my investing strategies. So instead of in, uh, focusing on long-term buy and hold, I have shifted it to more of a short to medium-term sentiment. And what I'm looking for now is companies potentially breaking out on positive news. And in fact, in the past week, I have bought into two companies, Neuron Pharmaceuticals and Emerson Resources on the back of some very positive news. And even though the share price of those two companies increased by about 93% and 130% in one day, the share price actually has increased from that time. So sometimes you will see hype in a company build after they release these positive announcements. And it takes sometimes a fair while for the market to completely digest the news. And that's why on occasion you will see a share price run of a company for many, many months after they release some positive news to the market. And that is potential for all these companies who do release a positive announcement. It doesn't happen all the time, but it can happen. So that is exactly what I'm looking for because I want to take advantage of these short-term really positive stories. Sometimes a story can play out over a few weeks, sometimes it can last for well over one year. And in a video I released just the other day in regards to current companies that are breaking out, I went back in time to 2009 to look at an example of Sandfire to see why their share price broke out at 40 cents. And over a five month period, Sandfire share price increased from 40 cents to $4, so that's a 10 bagger over a five month period with a catalyst being just some drilling result. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. Now the most powerful sort of positive announcement a company can release is a profit or earnings upgrade. But that's not the only type of announcement I am looking for. That is my favorite, but not the only type. For instance, Neuron Pharmaceuticals share price increased 93% on the back of some positive phase three trial data and Emerson Resource share price increased 130% on the back of some drilling results. So I'm looking for positive announcements, but more importantly, I'm looking at how the market reacts to these positive announcements over a two or three day period. I will almost never buy on the company on the day they release the announcement, particularly in the first few hours, because sometimes you'll see a lot of selling and you might buy at the high of the day and then the share price completely collapses. I've seen that time and time again. But if you just be patient, wait at least one day, sometimes you will see or you decrease your risk and you will see that company's share price just consolidate and then have a next leg up. And that's exactly what we've saw with Neuron Pharmaceuticals. Share price increased 93% on the day. Next day, it almost was unchanged. And then the next day, it increased another 25%. That's exactly what you want to see as the market digests the information the company releases. Now, it's all good and said to be searching for companies whose share price is breaking out on the back of some positive announcements. But it's an even better thing to go back in time to see those situations where a company's share price looks like it is breaking out and then to see how successful that breakout is. And that's exactly what I'm doing in this video. I'm reviewing an ASX stocks breaking out video I released in February 2021. And I'm gonna see how the companies I featured in this video performed over the next 10 months. So let's get stuck into it. And the first company I'll be looking at in this video and reviewing is Sky Television. The first chart I'll be showing you with all these companies is the chart up until the end of February the 5th when I released this video, or my, I might have released the video February 6 or 7, but this is the date that I uh, did the preparation for that particular video. And Sky Television, tick code SKT, if I remember correctly, have done a 10 for 1 consolidation. So even though it says the share price is $1.70 here back in February uh, um, 5, 2021, the share price was actually $0.17 cents back then. 
And Sky Television, because of who they are, share price had been under significant pressure for the previous two or three years. In fact, the share price had fallen from something like $2.50 to $0.17 cents over that period. But it did look like, leading up to February 5, the share price was consolidating and there was a possible breakout in the share price three days previous from when I did this video. You can see a jump in the share price from about $0.15 cents to $0.18, cents, or in this chart, it's $1.50 to $1.81. So it did look like there was a potential breakout in Sky Television's share price. We also saw some good volume coming in that day. So now let's see how Sky Television's share price has performed over the next 10 months to see if this was a true breakout or if it failed. Now I'm going to have to say, looking at this updated chart to the end of December 9, that that initial breakout uh, was not really successful because the share price then drifted down quite slowly on fairly weak volume. In fact, the share price went from $1.70 from when I did that video, or $0.17, cents, to $1.45 in August. But then we saw another potential breakout towards the end of August or start of September when the share price rose from about $1.50 to $2.05. But it looks like that breakout or potential breakout then failed because over the next few months, the share price that drifted lower and lower again on fairly weak volume. And the share price finished or closed a few weeks ago at $1.60. But on December 7, Sky Television released a significant announcement and my most favorite sort of announcement, an earnings or profit upgrade. And that announcement was titled, Transformation Accelerates Sky Raises Financial Year 22 Guidance. And of course, the market reacted really positive, positively to that. In fact, the share price increased over a two day period from $1.70 to $2.30. That's a more than a 33% increase in the share price on the back of this earnings upgrade. So over the past 10 months, in fact, the share price of Sky Television has done really well. But if uh, we've been fairly lucky here because really the majority of the performance in the share price for Sky TV has been in the last few trading days. I'm gonna say right now that the real breakout in the share price is on the back of the most recent uh, guidance, the guidance upgrade. And that's why the market has got more excited about this company because again, it's a profit upgrade. Next company I featured in that February 5 video was Credit Corp. And this was a really nice looking chart, particularly from the breaking out of Credit Corp's share price in November last year at around $21. $22. They also made an acquisition in or well, Christmas Eve of December. Of course, Christmas Eve is December, and share price or the market loved that announcement. And then they released half year results on the 2nd of February, and the market loved those results as well. So we had a breakout and acquisition half year results where we did see the market react really well. But the share price had increased from about $20 the day before the breakout to a share price of about $33.24. So the share price had increased by a significant amount over about a three month period. And the question would be at this point in time, could this uptrend, could this positive sentiment in this company continue from the 2nd of February? So let's have a look to see if that positive sentiment and this uptrend continued over the next 10 months. Unfortunately for shareholders, particularly those who bought on the back of those February results, the share price has done nothing over the past 10 months. In fact, the share price has actually decreased by 24 cents. And even though the share price was in a really good uptrend for about three or four month period, and we had seen a share price increase from $20 to about $33, doesn't mean that uptrend will continue. Sometimes you'll see the shares of a company, or yeah, the shares of a company will go sideways, will consolidate. And that is potentially what we're seeing with Credit Corp right now. So why hold these company shares over this 10 month period? Why not buy into companies whose uptrend is continuing? You might say there is an opportunity cost to holding Credit Corp uh, shares during this period because 
the share price is not increasing. Now it does seem like ever since August the share price is of Credit Corp is trying to move into this slow grinding upwards trend. But I'd like to see the share price get above about $34.50, which is the high we saw in February of this year, just after I released that video. That potential breakout with Credit Corp in February was on the back of some good financial results. And it looks like News Corp, the next company I featured in that February video, their share price broke out around the same time, and more than likely, this was back on the back of some good financial results, particularly because I did that video in February. In fact, the share price was $27.50, and that was significantly higher than we saw the share price of this company even pre-COVID. Pre-COVID, the share price was $22.50. So definitely a nice developing uptrend with News Corp. And the question I would have, did this uptrend did this breakout succeed? I would probably would have thought at the time that this company's uh, breakout would not succeed. So was I wrong? Was I right? Well, I was mostly wrong because that breakout actually kept on going over the next few months. In fact, the share price increased from that $27.50 to a high of about $34 to $35 billion a few months later. But the share price has been going sideways over the past six to eight months. But the share price is higher right now than it was back in February 5. If I did buy uh, into that breakout in February, I probably would not be holding the shares of this company right now just because the share price is going sideways. I'd be trying to find a better opportunity out there. Next company I looked at in February was Veeam. And uh, this company's share price really broke out in September, October of last year at around 50 cents or so. And a really nice uptrend had developed over the following five months. In fact, the share price had increased from that 50 cents to the share price, the time I did that video, of about 88 cents. The only problem I saw looking at the chart and the volume on the bottom is just the lack of really high volume. I do like to see volume increasing as the share price goes up. That tells me the market is becoming more and more interested as the share price goes higher. So this chart does look interesting just based off the fact that there is really positive sentiment behind this company back in February and the share price was in a well-defined uptrend. Well, let's have a look to see how far this uptrend did last and whether this would have been a good short or medium term buy. I'm not sure why there was a breakout in Veeam share price back in February. More than likely, it was on the back of some good financial results, but you can see uh, that the share price actually did fall back over the next five trading days. In fact, the share price fell from 88 cents to about 77 cents, but then the share price took off again. And more than likely what was happening during that five or six day period where the share price pulled back is those who wanted to sell out had sell, sold out and those who saw the share price retreat saw the opportunity to buy in Veeam at a lower share price than they could have a few days earlier. And then the share price kept on increasing at a slow and steady rate over the next six to nine months. In fact, the share price increased to a high of $1.44, which was reached in February. And then there might have been some bad news in September because we did see the share price a decrease. There was a bit of a gap there, so more than likely that was some bad news. And that was the end of the uptrend. And ever since, that September date when they released maybe some bad news, the share price has been falling. And then a few months ago, or maybe one month ago, we saw some more bad news from the company. Share price decreased from about $1.18 to less than 94 cents. And the share price has been going sideways since then at around 88 cents to 94 cents. Looks like it's a bit of a pennant or a flag developing there. And I'd say more than likely, the share price will fall further for Veeam from here. And funnily enough, the share price at the end of trading on December 9 was 88 cents, exactly the same price we saw the share price 
on February 5. And the main thing I take away from this is you don't fall in love with a company. Stick to your plan that this is going to be a short to medium term trade. And whenever the uptrend fails, which it did in September, that's when you sell out and stick to your plans and stick solid because if you sold out at say $1.25, even though share price is less or lower than it was a few days previous to that, you would have made out much better than if you just hang, held on to your shares and seen the value of the shares fall all the way back to the share price you bought in February 5. Now onto a company that I actually did or am a shareholder of, and this is a great looking chart to the end of February 5. In fact, the breakout in Point Terra share price back in July of 2021 was not an earnings or profit upgrade, was actually the fact that Bevan Slattery became interested in this company. And sometimes that's all you need. A famous person or famous investing person has become interested in your company. And the share price back then was less than 10 cents. And then the share price continued to climb. It wasn't a straight staircase sort of climb. We did see the share price get to 67.5 cents in September and then fall all the way down to 30 cents at the start of November. So the share price actually had half during a very small period there, but the share price then rallied again. And on the day I did that video, the share price increased from about 54 cents to 63 cents. So let's see now how this potential breakout played for Point Terra. And this looks like another case of don't fall in love with a company, particularly if you're a short or medium term trader. When I did buy into Point Terra, this was a long term hold. And I still think Point Terra has a lot of potential for the future. But if I was more of a short and medium term trader, I definitely would have sold out of Point Terra many, many months ago. In fact, probably uh, in March of this year. But the market rallied on the back of that breakout when the share price finished at 63 cents. In fact, over the next weekend or two weeks, the share price increased by another 50% to a high of 93 cents. But ever since that high of 93 cents in February of this year, the share price has been dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. And the other thing you'll notice is the volume has been dropping and dropping and dropping. During that rally in February, that's the last time we've seen significant volume with this company. And anytime we see a potential rally with the share price of Point Terra, it fails. We saw that in April this year and then again in September. Both times the share price went on a run and then pulled back. And that's a sign that there is some sellers out there who have bought in at higher prices, they see the opportunity to sell out when the share price goes for a run, and that puts pressure onto the share price. And as soon as some people see the share price starting to fall again after those rallies, that puts some extra pressure on the share price. So that's the reason why Point Terra right now is in a well-defined downtrend and might continue for a while until they release some positive news or until the sentiment shifts in this company. So definitely, if I was a short or medium term trader, I would not be holding these company shares right now. The final company I featured in that February 5 video was GME Resources Limited. This company has a tip code GME. And around the same time, in late January, early February, there was another company in the United States called GameStop. And most of you who are watching this video probably know the story of GameStop. But GameStop's tick code, fun enough, was GME. So around the same time that GameStop's share price was rallying because of all that manipulation by that Reddit group, we also saw GME Resources share price rally. And it came to the point where ASX gave GME Resources an ASX price query. So ASX wanted uh, GME resources manager to explain why they thought the share price of this company was increasing on the back of no news flow on higher volume. And GME Resources actually explained that they actually have the same exact T code than GameStop and they thought this was the reason why the share price of this company was increasing. And that is really disturbing to me 
that you have such novice investors out there who don't know who or think they're buying to GameStop simply because it has a T code of GME. The very fact there are investors out there who don't know there are different markets who don't know that this company has a name called GME Resources. They're just looking at the T code. And this is just telling us there are so many more novice investors out there than we usually are dealing with. And these novice investors, or a lot of them, don't know what they're investing in. And that is actually really disturbing to me. So I hope if you are watching this video and you don't know what you're doing, that you remedy that. You start learning about how to invest, what you're investing in. The best way to do that is to go to the ASX website. They have a lot of educational stuff on there. So do that, particularly if you don't know the difference between GME resources and GameStop, even though they had the same ticker code. But how has GME resources been doing ever since February 5? Well, not a lot. Uh, that was the peak in the share price, 7.8 cents or around the peak anyway, and the share price has been going lower, or going sideways, and current share price at the end of trading of December 9 is 5.4 cents. I could not tell you what GME Resources are doing. I don't, do not know if they're drilling for any sort of commodity, any sort of mineral, if they're successful in what they're doing. I have no idea, and at this point in time, there's no reason for me to do any research on this company. That is all I have for this 10-month review of a few ASX stocks that looked like they were breaking out back on February 5. If you have any questions about any companies I featured in this video or any other company on the ASX, please leave your thoughts, your comments, your questions in the comment section of this video. Otherwise, I am not a financial advisor. If you do need financial advice, make sure you seek out someone who is qualified and can speak to your own financial needs. That's it for this video. Have a good day. Bye.